गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग आई विल स्टार्ट विद यूनिट 2 टुडे सो एज यू वुड हैव सीन आई हैव शेयर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ फोटोज टुडे इन द ग्रुप इन द लास्ट 5 10 मिनट्स सो मेजरली वी आर गोइंग टू डू अम डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टैटिस्टिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ डेटा uh and little bit of summarization of data especially uh, measures of central tendency and then we'll go to the next because there's a lot to uh, understand in the photos that i have shared okay uh so first of all i just want to tell you before i get into this that whatever graphical um, uh, things that i have shared you hardly get questions from them okay you will not get uh, questions any questions or anything to Uh, as in to solve or you know you will not get anything uh, anything to do on the graph but yes you should just have um, a very uh, you know a very crude idea ki why you know kyu kyu hum log uh, graphs use karte hain jaise maine kal aapko ek example diya sorry last class mein ek example diya tha so similarly bas thoda sa janne ke liye ki kyu ye zaruri hai uh, we need to know तो अगर किसी को एकदम से आज समझ नहीं आ रहा सो डोंट पैनिक ओके इट इज क्वाइट ओके अंटिल अनलेस यू एक्चुअली डू इट आई एम वेरी श्योर ऑलमोस्ट एवरीबडी ऑफ अस वुड बी एक्सपोज टू ग्राफ एंड इट्स यूसेज इन स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सेवन एट मे बी आई थिंक नॉट इन टेन बट येस आई थिंक मेजोरिटी फ्रॉम सेवन टू नाइन के बीच में कुछ कुछ तो ग्राफ में यू मस्ट हैव डन ओके इट इज जस्ट लाइक दैट बिल्कुल भी टफ नहीं है बस लिसन एंड जस्ट फॉलो द फिगर्स दैट आई हैव सेंट टुडे सो ठीक है टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट यूनिट टू दैट इज नोन एज डिस्क्रिप्टिव एंड इन्फ्लुएंशियल स्टेटिस्टिक्स सो व्हाट बेसिकली इज डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टेटिस्टिक्स सो व्हेन वी एक्चुअली डिस्क्राइब द डेटा दैट वी हैव और बेसिकली वी यूज द प्रोसीजर्स और दिस डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टेटिस्टिक्स यूज इज मेथड Uh, by which we can organize summarize and present our data in a more informative way when we can actually say that yes uh, this data shows that this group is better this data shows that there is you know some sort of relation between them some comparison between them so when we can actually um, you know describe what our data is actually um, you know intending or what our data wants to tell us that is what is descriptive statistics okay so yahan pe um also we have to uh, remember one thing that um, we have to basically uh, draw uh, let's say uh, an inference okay uh, inference or at least a conclusion of what the data that we have found out what it is trying to tell us okay so here um, uh, basically we are dealing with collection of data their classification analysis interpretation etc etc now what why do we use descriptive statistics is because you will see jitne jitne bhi researches we are doing or jitne bhi experiments we are doing uh, see they are all directly or indirectly until unless they are very quantifiable or uh, they are related to the field of science uh, they have got a lot to do with human behavior okay uh, human behavior and how human beings um, act in a particular situation how does that change in uh, some situations okay so as you know human behavior is very volatile how a person behaves now uh, may not behave uh, similarly even in a same kind of a situation like uh, jitne logon ko yahan pe classical conditioning ka uh, experiment pata hoga uh, i have also mentioned it in the class many a times uh, that is uh, Uh, the same experiment where we were talking about the salivation of the dog so basically the person who who uh, did this experiment his name was pavlov okay so once a student of pavlov asked him uh, told him that i am doing the same experiment um, on classical conditioning uh, it will be very i'll be very grateful if you can visit my laboratory and my dog would also be there and um, uh, i just i just want to show you that i'm just replicating your experiment and when pavlov went uh, the dog did not salivate as much as he used to or has as much as he should have so they tried the experiment few more times or it, the dog didn't salivate now the reason for that was today a new stranger was present in the room and the dog's um, you know dog's um, mind or let's say the dog's focus 
was on on the stranger and not on um, you know the food or the bell or uh, the stimulus okay so similarly jaise uh, behavior is very very volatile okay so isiliye um, and descriptive statistics may be need to actually find out um, jo bhi hum data collect kar rahe hain how much important it is whether it will it is suitable for our study or not okay we have to minimize error okay all of this uh, will come under descriptive statistics okay so theek hai now next we will go to organization of data okay uh, is shweta here shweta you there yes ma'am ha huh, yes shweta i found out the answer whether it is ascending or descending uh, it will not make a difference in media okay thanks ma'am okay thank you i forgot to uh, tell it in the beginning yes okay so uh, okay so now we'll come to organization of data so basically how do we organize the data now see um, we have uh, basically four ways how we can organize it okay so first is classification just like we were talking about the nominal scale that day here we will just classify the data ye kiske under aata hai okay uh, second is tabulation basically we will Uh, put the data in tables or we'll organize it okay we'll organize it we'll structure it third is graphical presentation uh, that we will study now maine bahut sare kuch share bhi kiya hai and then is diagrammatical presentation okay we will also uh, present it in some diagram format okay so diagram mein aapne bahut bar dekha hoga a pie diagram or you know um, or let's say a bar diagram etc theek hai so let's do these four today so sabse pehle we have to do a uh, classification now let us go back to the group that uh, group mein jo photos humne share kiye because it will be easy for you to follow i have tried to um, uh, give all the photos serially so that uh, you can follow it easily okay to sabse pehle um, we have to do classification so yahan pe kuch kuch words bahut important hai to so, sabse pehla word jo yahan pe important hai aap please likh lijiye it is called frequency okay frequency frequency okay so what does frequency mean frequency means how many times a certain case a certain event a certain number is repeated or it occurs okay so let's say if i will tell you um, that um, a person came to my house four times today so what is the frequency somebody tell somebody answer four ma'am four exactly so that is the frequency okay yes that is the frequency to is isi tarah se kabhi kabhi koi data bhi it gets repeated okay while we are collecting it it gets repeated let's say let's say we'll tell this last time we were talking about mode to agar hum bolenge ki out of a 20 mark question out of a 20 mark test 13 students okay Uh, let's say got 5 out of 20 so tell me what is the frequency here out in a 20 mark test 13 people 1 3 13 people got 5 out of 20 so what is the frequency 13 13 yes it yes it is 13 please don't get confused that it should be 5 or 20 theek hai तो इफ यू अंडरस्टूड दिस नाउ वी कैन गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन ओके तो अभी क्या होता है नाउ हमको एक फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल बनाना पड़ता है तो प्लीज फॉलो द फर्स्ट टेबल जो कि येलो कलर का टेबल है इसमें लेट्स गो टू द सेकंड वन फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अनग्रुप्ड डेटा ओके तो यहाँ पे आपने देखा देखा ना मार्क्स लिखा हुआ है ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन सेवनटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी इज एवरीबडी फॉलोइंग दैट टेबल Yes, 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 okay. तो वहां पे सी इट इज एन अनग्रुप्ड डेटा मतलब हमने उस डेटा को ग्रुप नहीं किया है जिस तरह से डेटा हमको मिला है वी हैव जस्ट पुट द डेटा एज इट इज सो 12, 14, 17, दे आर जस्ट इंडिविजुअल डेटा सो हम उसका फ्रीक्वेंसी देखते हैं तो सपोज यू नो जैसे हमको एक पूरा डेटा सेट मिला होगा और उसमें 12 एक बार आया होगा 
फिफ्टीन दो बार आया होगा सेवनटीन तीन बार आया होगा नाइनटीन पांच बार आया होगा ट्वेंटी वन लेट से तीन बार आया होगा लेट से दिस इज अर्टी मार्क्स का टेस्ट एंड दीज मेनी मार्क्स व ऑप्टेन्ड बाय द चिल्ड्रेन ओके एंड वी आर जस्ट वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स दिस हैज बीन ऑप्टेन तो देखिए अगर मैं आपको ऐसे बोलूँ कि देर आर अबाउट नाइनटीन जैसे फाइव चिल्ड्रेन हैव गॉट नाइनटीन ओके सो वट कैन वी अज्यूम वी कैन अज्यूम दैट इट मस्ट नॉट बी अ वेरी टफ टेस्ट वाई बिकॉज पांच बच्चे हैं जिनको नाइनटीन मार्क्स मिला है आउट ऑफ थर्टी ठीक है सिर्फ यू नो एक या दो बच्चों को 12, 15 मिला है मे बी उन्होंने पढ़ाई नहीं की होगी इसीलिए नहीं मिला है सो एटलीस्ट वी कैन बस एक डेटा सेट को देख कर की वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट बिकॉज दीज मेनी टाइम समथिंग इज ऑकर्ड सो दिस दिस माइट बी द कंक्लूजन ठीक है सो दिस इज अ फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अनग्रुप्ड डेटा वी हैव नॉट ग्रुप द डेटा एज इट इज हमको डेटा मिला है वी जस्ट हैव टू काउंट वो कितनी बार रिपीट हुआ है सो दिस हियर इन दिस इमेज इट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन काउंटेड तो हमको वन टू थ्री फाइव ये जो भी जितनी बार भी वो रिपीट हुआ है हमने उसको काउंट किया नाउ प्लीज सी यहाँ पे एक टैली मार्क्स होता है वॉट इज टैली मार्क्स जितनी बार रिपीट होगा उतने स्ट्रेट स्ट्रेट लाइन वी हैव टू पुट चार तक वी विल पुट स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड आफ्टर फोर वी विल क्रॉस इट तो दैट मेक्स इट फाइव ओके सो यहाँ पे यू विल सी फाइव में दे हैव पुट फोर लाइन एंड देव पुट अ क्रॉस दैट इज काउंटेड एज फाइव ओके सो दिस इज फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अनग्रुप्ड डेटा नाउ सिमिलरली वी हैव अ फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल फॉर ग्रुप्ड डेटा तो ग्रुप्ड में हम कैसे करते हैं जैसे आपने आ, आप आजकल देखते होंगे ना आई एम आई एम आई अज्यूम दैट ऑलमोस्ट Uh, before 2003, is there anybody who has passed 10th after 2003? Anyone here with us? After 2003, किसी ने पास किया है? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, no. Aishwarya. Okay, Aishwarya has done. Okay. So see, um, जितने लोगों ने before 2010 CBSE 10th clear किया होगा? we all used to have a percentage okay what was that percentage some getting 85 some getting 90 some getting 75 78.2 but after uh, 2003 there was a change and then they started getting this um, you know uh, they started getting these grades so what are grades grades are if you get anywhere between 85 to 90 i'm just giving an example i'm not sure what is the range of the grade but let's say If you are getting anything between 80 to 90, you are getting A grade. If you are getting 90 and above, you are getting a O grade. What is that? You must have seen also uh, sometimes in your college also. If the grading system is, so let's say if you have 60 percent, say 74 percent uh, marks, Laya, you get a A grade. 75 percent and above is an O grade. Uh, I hope everybody uh, follows this. Yes, ma'am. राइट ओके सिमिलरली हमने क्या किया हमने वो जितने भी मार्क्स हैं लेट्स से फ्रॉम 60 टू 74 हमने उनको ग्रुप कर दिया कि आप कितना भी मार्क्स उसके बीच में लाओ यू यू आर ग्रुप्ड इनटू दैट सिंगल ग्रेडिंग ऑफ ए ओके तो सेम आप देखो फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल में भी व्हाट वी डू वी वी ग्रुप द नंबर्स ठीक है जैसे 25 से 27 जिसको मिला लेट्स से वो ई e है लेट्स से नीचे से स्टार्ट करते हैं 13 से 15 जिसको मिला लेट्स से वो ई e है 16 से 18 जिसको मिला वो डी है 19 से 21 विल बी सी देन बी एंड 25 टू 27 विल बी ए सपोज लेट्स से वी आर डूइंग इट लाइक दैट एंड देन फ्रीक्वेंसी हम देखेंगे कि कितने कितनी बार इस क्लास लिमिट के अंदर कितनी बार वो नंबर्स अपीयर किए हैं तो लेट्स से क्लास लिमिट है या वो जो जो पूरा जो क्लास ग्रुपिंग है It has occurred 14 times. So similarly, this is how they do a frequency distribution for a grouped data. So here, friends, please understand. 
uh, this is known as a class interval or a class limit so you can just write it down uh, class interval or class limit okay yes so for acha kisi ko koi doubt hai in frequency distribution for grouped and ungrouped data see the worst thing uh, about this material is they have not given you figures or tables for any of the you know any of the grouping or any of the topic which is why aapko lagega every, every for everything they are telling the same thing aapko aise hi feel hoga that is the reason i have shared a lot of photos even after the class uh, you can take the print outs if possible of every photo and just keep it for your uh, notes okay for keep it for your material it will be easier to follow abhi because you are listening theek hai baad mein fir aap bhul jaoge kahi so just take out images of these okay so theek hai this is done now next we come to after frequency distribution with grouped and ungrouped next we come to um, what are what is important to you know for construction of a frequency distribution to so, sabse pehle what we need we need the range to so, humne last class mein we had talked of what is a range so range is the lowest and the highest number ka difference jo hota hai that is the range so let's say lowest let's say would be 3 and highest would be 30 so that is the range 3 to 30 is the range so that we would need and then we would need um, you know uh, the limits of the class interval so basically what is a class interval class interval is let's say 25 to 27 is a class limit or a class uh, interval okay so abhi class interval also teen tarah ke hote hain exclusive method inclusive method or true or actual class limit so let's go to first one so first photo mein aap dekhiye uh, which is the third photo again you have the class intervals or the class limits 21 to 30 31 to 40 uh, does everybody follow this figure ma'am can i ask you can i ask you you're not able to see no, i have a question ma'am ha ha please uh how do you uh, you said the class the, sorry the ranges the difference between the highest and the lowest in a class limit so uh, in this yellow uh, image the table the frequency distribution table for group data uh, mm -hmm. what would be the range would it be 2 or would it be 3 because there are 25 26 27 right in a class uh, limit i'm uh, talking about the upper uh, class limit ha ha okay so what yeah. would be the range the range, range is 2 data? or range is 3 sorry the range will be 2 or range will be 3 right range will be uh, range will be 3 27 minus 25 for the uh, class limit you are asking no yes i'm asking huh, about the 27 range minus, 27 minus 25 yes so there will be 2 And or so there will be 3 that will be 2 okay okay but for Thank the you. entire ha uh -huh. Yeah, but then uh, it is twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, right? Three figures are uh, included in this limit, in this uh, range. For the first one, you are asking? Yes, the frequency distribution be, table from yes, group data. Three numbers. Yes, it will be three numbers. Yes, it will be twenty five, twenty six, and twenty seven. Range will be three. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. So we cannot actually calculate uh, by uh, subtracting twenty five. no that we can only calculate when we are having the lower limit of one as the upper limit of the other okay yes okay so Sorry. here they are they are not the same okay they are like we are ending at 24 and then we are starting at 25 so the both the numbers are not the same upper limit is exactly. different of the other class interval lower limit is different for the second class interval right 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 okay thank you okay. thank you ma'am okay Uh, now next we come to um, uh, lower class limit and upper ha ji ma'am ma'am uh, jaise ki hame class interval dekhna hota hai na ma'am aap keh rahe the fir jaise difference hum dekhte hain ki jaise ki 20 aur 25 mein hum kehte hain 5 ma'am yahan hum niche se dekhenge 13 to 16 mein kitni difference hai niche se ma'am kitne aise dekhenge for the entire data set is asking for the class limit ji class limit ka range he is asking मैम वैसे हम कैसे देखते हैं 13 टू 15 या 13 टू 16 मैम 
नो हम थर्टीन टू फिफ्टीन देखेंगे ना सिक्सटीन कम्स इन द अदर क्लास लिमिट इट इज नॉट ऑफ द सेम क्लास लिमिट जी जी मैम मैम वो जो टोटल डिफरेंस देखना होता है ना मैम क्लास लिमिट को छोड़ के मैम जिसमें हम बोलते हैं इसमें डिफरेंस फाइव है मैम जब वहां पर रखते हैं एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव मैम वेर एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव विच विच वन एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव वट ही आज इज कि इन अ क्लास इन दिस क्लास लिमिट what would be the range so range would be exactly we have three numbers no three numbers that can be taken into consideration for this frequency okay ma'am i got it ha okay theek hai so now next we'll go to um frequency of lower class limit and upper class limit so just come to uh, the third uh, photo a uh, third figure third diagram sorry third image so yahan pe you see whatever we have um you know whatever the class limit ends with okay so that will always be the lower you know what that will be just the uh, just the higher one and whatever it starts with that will be the lower class limit okay so here you can see Uh, we have 31 to th sorry 21 to 30 so lower class limit is 21 and upper class limit is 30 you can also find out whichever is the highest number it will generally upper class limit will only have the higher number and lower class limit will have the lowest number okay so again uske bhi teen types hain as i told you exclusive method inclusive method and true and actual so inclusive you see inclusive is 1 to 10 and then the number will not be repeated okay it will be totally Uh, alum so it is inclusive class is 1 to 10 11 to 20 21 to 30 whereas in exclusive may the upper limit of the first class interval will become the lower limit of the second so you can see uh, here it is 0.5 to 10.5 10.5 again to 20.5 20.5 to 30.5 etc okay now what is exactly the true or actual class methods true or actual class methods is um when it extends from let's say 0.5 units below to 0.5 units above the face value of the score okay so either you you can see the actual class limit was 50 to 59 uh, just one moment uh, it the actual class limit was 50 to 59 what we actually do is we try to take the midpoint of that class interval okay so it is 49.5 to 59.5 let's say for 80 to 89 class interval it will be 79.5 to 89.5 right so this is what we do in true class interval we take a midpoint ha huh, yes now okay ha huh. some exclusive method and true class method are the same See, exclusive method and true class method can be uh, same in a in 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 some ways, but in true class method, it is mandatory that we take a midpoint of it. But exclusive method is not mandatory. You can say that true class method is somewhat exclusive, but exclusive is not true. Exclusive is not true or actual method. Thank you. Ma'am, in the book it says, uh, in the book it says that inclusive is 30 to 39, 40 to 49. Uh, in the same way, um, but in the diagram that you've given, uh, 0.5 to 10.5, 10.5, won't that be actual and true? Because that and the example of actual is the same, no? That's what I told you. That for actual and true, it is the same thing. And actual may we need to have a midpoint. that is mandatory we'll have a midpoint for true or actual so you can say that exclusive mm -hmm. may uh, we can have a true and actual but true and actual sorry i just got confused exclusive may you will have to have a midpoint that is mandatory if you are having a midpoint that will be true and actual but what was your doubt i forgot so what i'm saying is like in the book in the um, the igno book on page 21 the mm -hmm. example for exclusive they've given us uh 40 to 50 50 to 60 which is fine they give a whole number inclusive given, yeah, that is okay that is not an issue but for true and actual it has to be a midpoint 
whether exclusive takes a midpoint or not there is no hard and fast rule but for actual it has to be a midpoint it has to be calculated so on midpoint my question is something else my question is that in inclusive uh, like you in your diagram that you've given uh, mm -hmm. the one which has a yellow heading on top which says exclusive yes, class yes, 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 and yes. the uh, one that is at the bottom which is 49.5 to 59.5 are these two similar not able to find out the ex the exclusive one you are telling that exclusive and true class are similar in the diagram right yeah in the diagram you given but in the book it says inclusive is 30 to 39 40 to 49 50 to 59 and this yes, 0.5 yes. and 0.5 because i'm finding this exclusive and true class the same in the diagram that you have given okay i'll just have to look up i'm not able to follow it right away but i'll just look up and tell you if i will just do it again okay i'm not able to follow right now okay. another okay no problem another thing was that when there is uh, let's say you have a where do you put 59.5 since it's there in both the intervals you put it in the above can, or the below no you can put up at any point but it it has to remain uniform throughout the distribution Just say, let's say you are putting uh, let's say we will we'll, we'll take one uh, let's say you are doing a a uh, true class interval me apne already uh, let's say 59.5 ko first class interval me consider kiya hai you are not supposed to repeat it in the second okay so we yeah. follow one yeah. pattern also only one pattern throughout throughout the distribution ma'am ha ma'am uh, when you say midpoint you mean to say it has it, it has to have 0.5 the uh, the class limit should have Point five minutes. Yes, five. yes, that's what is what point is. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, acha. Ne now next we'll go to um one moment. Next we'll go to cumulative frequency and relative frequency. Okay, so what is cumulative? Uh, does anybody know what is the meaning of cumulative? I'm jamma right now. ha huh, exactly when you are adding up things okay so uh, you have let's like, suppose you have a frequency 5 and then in the next frequency 7 so as per cumulative frequency the first frequency will be 5 but the second will be 5 plus 7 that is 12 let's say after that the uh, frequency is 3 so it will the third one will be 5 plus 7 plus 3 that is 15 okay so similarly uh, we have now two types of uh, uh, frequency distribution you can say one is your uh, relative frequency and one is cumulative frequency okay so yahan pe aap dekho let us uh, see first to so, yahan pe in relative frequency whatever value we have of the frequency that will be divided by the number of uh, you know frequency that we have so let's say we have 45 number is actually the number of cases so let's say you have uh, just one minute friends just i'm getting a call this one so um yes so relative frequency is whatever frequency you have divided by the number of cases and that will give us the relative frequency so we can see uh, here the frequency and cumulative frequency is just uh, the frequency and then adding it up one stage one stage one step ahead okay so first we have 5 then 8 plus 5 13 then again um, add uh, with 13 we add the next that is 12 then uh, we get 25 25 then 13 and this is how we uh, go on okay now after frequency distribution uh, we next come to tabulation okay so tabulation i think is um, um, aapne bahut baar dekha bhi hoga in your uh, maths uh, you know maths uh, uh, book or let's say uh in any research book also so tabulation is basically when we have the data which is very very uh, let's say very scattered or the information is very very scattered apne you might have done uh, some questions or some sums on um, uh, what, what is it called on reasoning yes in aptitude test suppose you know you will all you might have got uh, questions like let's say uh, a b c d e our friends or let's say a b c d e are sitting in a circular table but not in that particular order uh, let's say you know c is between a and e 
E is not sitting next to B, something like that. Or let's say you might have, you, know, you remember, you, I mean, you know, you have these kind of questions. So what basically we do is we have the data in a very scattered format. So what we do is we try to tabulate it or we try to put it in an order. OK, so that is why we use uh, the method of tabulation. So first was classification and then was tabulation. So what do we do in um, a tabulation? is that we um, have four to five uh, or six um, you know headings or subtopics and that under that uh, we put it. okay okay so uh, just uh, we'll just follow this so sabse pehle for tabulation you need to have a table number okay so aapne dekha hoga ki we have table 4.5 1.2 3.5 so that is a reference that if it is 3.5, let's say three is the chapter or the unit number and 0.5 means that is the figure number or that is the table number. So first we'll have a table number, Mrs. then we'll have a. Huh. Ray. Huh? Mama, see image board, Ray. The next image only. I have not numbered the images. I'm sorry. There's a types of tabulation. Can you have it? It's just one image only. It was just the next image. Anybody uh, in, having any issues with uh, the numbers? Biostatistics, yes. Thank you. Huh. So see, first we'll have a table number. Then we'll have a title. So what does the title do? The title actually explains what the entire table is about. So let's say here the tab uh, table is about population of India according to workers and non-workers by gender and location. OK, so they, they are talking about workers and non-workers by gender and location. OK, so after this we will have um, a caption. OK, so caption is also known as a column heading. OK, so you can just have a, a heading like main heading is location then gender, then you have workers, you have non-workers. OK, now after that, after this, you will have some self-explanatory headings for rows. OK, so uh, self-explanatory, you can understand uh, like let's say uh, instead of using um, categories of workers or something like that, we have just made it as workers and non-workers, so it is easier for us. OK. Uh, then we'll have, uh, uh, let's say, the rows, okay, the rows, headings, and, uh, you know, we'll have the smaller category. So you can see all urban, rural, we'll have male, female, total, okay, all of this, then main, marginal, total, okay, all of this we'll have. Then um, that entire thing, that entire, uh, you can say, uh, small, small categories and the figures and everything, that forms the body of the table, OK, where we'll also have, uh, let's say, numerical information, we'll have the quantifiable items, etc. So that forms the body of the table. Now, uh, next is uh, you can see we'll also have some units. So kabhi -kabhi aapne dekha hoga, if we are talking about some units, let's say we want to uh, have a you, we have a tabulated data of, uh, num you know, like um, amount of rainfall and property damages caused. So pe rainfall will be written in, um, let's say, mm. So that will be an unit. You have a unit of how you are measuring it. OK, uh, so that would be units. Now next, after that, we come to uh, something known as the source of the data from where we have uh, found this out. So let's say for this, our source is Census of India 2001. Uh, let's say for the rainfall and uh, this data, uh, uh, we would have, let's say, if we have a, any monsoon so a survey or anything, so that will be our source. And then after that, uh, we'll have a footnote. So what basically is a footnote? A footnote actually tells you any additional information. Like yaha pe we have, like yaha pe they have written figures are rounded to nearest crores. So let's say if we have um, rainfall uh, written in mm for every day, okay. So let's say we are having for a very small uh, for a very small period of time, let's say just for June and July of one year, it is very easy. But let's say if we are calculating it for 20 years, OK, if you are calculating it for 20 years, 
सो एवरी मंथ लिखना बहुत मुश्किल होगा सो वॉट वी विल डू इज वी विल टेक इयर वाइज एज यूनिट और नीचे हम लिखेंगे दैट दिस इज इन फुट नोट विल राइट दिस इज दिस इज बींग कैलकुलेटेड फॉर एंटायर ईयर दिस इज नॉट गिवेन मंथ वाइज बट दिस इज गिवेन एंटायर ईयर वाइज और लेट से दिस इज द डैमेजेस आर गिवेन नॉट इन लैक्स बट दे आर गिवेन इन क्रोर्स और मे बी दे आर गिवेन इन टेन क्रोर्स ओके तो सिमिलरली दिस दिस इज हाउ द टेबुलेशन इज डन so uh, with this we finish the second one then we we'll come to graphical presentation of data so come to the next uh, uh, drawing uh, here we have how basically uh, we have when we have a graph how basically we try to draw or plot in it so first we have two axes one is x and one is y and uh, always remember in the uh, Uh, y axis basically we take the frequencies okay the frequencies are always taken um, in the y axis or x may we take the class intervals or let's say um, uh, class limits okay so here in the x we take the class limits or class intervals and the y we take the frequency always so this is the ordinate this is how we basically plot let's say we have um, uh, let's say uh, Grade twenty uh, twenty people or twenty five people have got A grade, or uh, so here we'll do A. Let's say we'll have A in the x-axis and then twenty somewhere in the y, and then we'll plot it. We'll put one dot where both of them are meeting. Okay, x comma uh, y means where they are meeting. So uh, that is how we'll plot a point. Okay. Uh, now next we come to the next uh, uh, types of graphical patterns they have used is histogram. Okay. so histogram basically kya hai histogram mein uh, we just plot it like that on x and y aap uh, dekh sakte ho but here in histogram and bar chart they are mostly uh, or they look totally similar but in mein se in mein farak kya hai in histograms there will be no gaps okay so basically there are no gaps and in bar graphs there will be gap between the uh, you know uh, uh, between the plottings okay and why is actually a uh, histogram uh, uh, you know uh, it is useful to us because it just looking at the histogram uh, we can know we can know how the uh, you know thing is uh, uh, how how is it uh, uh, you can say progressing okay to aapne bahut bar dekha hoga in cricket also uh, when they want to tell what is the run rate or uh, one minute Yes. Am I audible, friends? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Sometimes after the call, it's not audible, hence okay. So, आपने बहुत बार देखा होगा क्रिकेट में आल्सो ना व्हेन दे आर ट्राइंग टू प्लॉट लेट्स से व्हेन दे आर ट्राइंग टू प्लॉट द ओवर्स ओके हाउ मेनी ओवर्स एंड रन रेट एक्सेट्रा सो दे विल एक्चुअली दे यूज हिस्टोग्राम्स और यू नो दे यूज Uh, these plottings and then we can tell ki acha is uh, over mein itne runs nahi hue hain is over mein itne runs hue hain okay so you will see it is not very uniform jaise jaise uh, uh, we have something known as power play so let's say power play may you actually can make more runs but not you know uh, uh, not after that or let's say theek hai to isi you know this is how they depict okay now next is we have a frequency polygon okay so if you can uh... and why are uh, bar charts and histograms when are they used what is the difference yes see histograms are basically used when we are just um, you know we just want to uh, find out about the data bar graphs are for done actually when we are trying to compare the data okay so let's say run rate of a particular team will will have histogram but if you are having run rate of two teams at that over it will be bar diagram okay, okay. then we we'll use yes. bar chart and yes when we have to compare we'll use bar charts okay लेट से आपको अगर आपको ये दिखाना है कि लेट से आपको ये दिखाना है कि ट्वेंटी ओवर में इट वाज सिक्स रन पर ओवर ट्वेंटी वन में इट बिकेम थर्टीन ट्वेंटी टू में इट बिकेम लेट से ट्वेल्व ओनली फॉर इंडिया तो ये हिस्टोग्राम में चलेगा 
बट लेट से आफ्टर ट्वेंटी ओवर्स इंडिया वर्ल्ड लेट से वन नाइनटीन फॉर टू बट साउथ अफ्रीका इज हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व फॉर थ्री देन दे विल यूज बारोग्राफ्स फॉर कंपेरिजन ठीक है हाँ so next uh, we come to frequency polygon so what is a frequency polygon Fre frequency uh, polygon is basically uh, see frequency polygon and frequency curve mein there is not a difference there is not at all much difference aapko isliye dono figures bhi same lag rahe honge frequency polygon mein what we do is uh, we actually jo bhi hamare paas jo bhi graph bana hai हम उसके जो भी हिस्टोग्राम है हम उसके मिड पॉइंट को ज्वाइन करते हैं फाइंड आउट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दो यू नो बार्ड एंड देन वी ज्वाइन देम एंड दैट बिकम्स अ पॉलीगॉन ओके सो वी कैन ऑलवेज टेल दैट दिस इज द इफेक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ आवर स्टडी और दिस इज द पार्ट दैट एक्चुअली वी वॉन्ट टू फोकस ऑन ओके वी आर नॉट लुकिंग एट वट एवर यू नो हैज what how scattered it is our main focus of area of study is only that much when a frequency polygon is just drawn free hand without using any scale or without using any equipment that is known as a frequency curve okay so why is it done it is done just to show uh, on um, on a crude form how much actually is the interest of our st uh, study okay तो यहाँ पे आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गेस्टोल्ट और प्रांगनाज लेट से अगर जब आप बच्चे थे तो वट वॉट यूज टू हैपन इज आपके पास अगर कोई भी अगर आपको बोला जाता था कि आप घर बनाओ सो वट यूज टू डू इज यू यूज टू मेक इट जस्ट लाइक अ स्क्वायर आप बना लिया आपने उसके ऊपर आपने लेट से रोमबस की तरह कुछ बना लिया एंड देन दैट बिकम्स योर हाउस दैट बिकम दैट यू फील दैट दैट इज द हाउस या फिर कोई बोलेगा आपको यू मेक अ बिल्ली और यू मेक अ कैट सो यू मेक अ बिग सर्कल स्मॉल सर्कल एंड देन अ बिग सर्कल एंड देन लेट से टू आईज एंड देन यू नो टू कोन्स ऑन द स्मॉलर सर्कल एंड दैट इज योर कैट सो एज योर माइंड is always trained to look for the most simplistic things okay or to make uh, more complicated things as more simple so that is why a frequency curves in a very short time actually tells you where to put your focus on so that is the only reason why frequency curve is used otherwise they have no specialized functions just it is it is different from frequency polygon in the way that frequency polygon would need a scale and it would need a very a pre defined and a very precise uh, joining of the points whereas frequency curve can just be done uh, by the hand and it will not require anything uh, you know it will not require any uh, specialized things okay uh, so after this aha uh -huh, yes now next we have a um, cumulative frequency curve or a ogive now that has to be explained a lot and that has to be actually shown how it is to be done so only this part we will do tomorrow Uh, along with the next class because again uh, less than mein kaise karte hain wo, wo actually sum hai usko solve karke dikhana padega so for this we will uh, do it tomorrow we'll just come to the next part that is diagrammatic presentation of data so diagrammatic presentation of data mein uh, first we'll see the bar diagram so bar diagram as i told you aap pehle dekho oh, one moment friends ओके सो यहाँ पे बार डायग्राम आपने देखा जो मैं आपको भी बता रही थी समबडी आज डे क्वेश्चन की क्यों यूज होते हैं तो आप देखो दिल्ली बिहार हरियाणा पंजाब सो व्हाट दे आर डूइंग इज बेसिकली कंपेयरिंग ओके तो यहाँ पे बार डायग्राम यूज होता है व्हेन वी आर ट्राइंग टू कंपेयर ठीक है सो हॉस्टल ए एंड हॉस्टल बी तो आप देखोगे हॉस्टल ए इज लाइक दे हैव टेकन अ डिफरेंट कलर एंड हॉस्टल बी दे हैव टेकन अ डिफरेंट कलर सो दैट इट इज ईजी नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल बार डायग्राम then we have something known as subdivided bar diagram so what is subdivided bar diagram subdivided bar diagram is the category would be fixed but within that category there will be some sub categories okay so let's say i want to find out um what is the transport system how uh, what is what does the transport uh, transport system comprises of in different states of india okay so let's say i have taken um, um, i have taken let's say tamil nadu i have taken west bengal i have taken gujarat i have taken maharashtra okay so my actual my bar diagram is for the transport system and it is for different states but again transport system mein bhi to bahut sare categories hai na how what about the two wheelers what about the buses and public transport what about cars 
what about the um, let's say um, cabs abhi aa rahe hain cabs what about let's say um, uh, electric rickshaws agar uh, they are very common in delhi i'm not sure if other uh, states are uh, you know implementing or not so abhi usi ke beech mein bhi we have some sub categories to aap yahan pe dekhna ki let's say aap ye uh, uh, ye dekho aap ye uh, chart dekho to aap dekhna ki jo indigo wala blue hai let's say that is for a uh, public transportation system the orange line or uh, the orange shaded part you can say that would be for the uh, cabs let's say uh, let's say the gray part would be for the personalized own uh, transport system let's say the yellow one would be for the uh, two two um, two wheeler system to is tarah ka inko hum bolte hain sub divided bar diagram theek hai uske baad next we come to multiple bar chart so multiple bar chart is basically not very different from uh, the normal bar diagram the only farak is you can add a number of categories you want ek to ye hai ki you can agar aapke ek category mein subdivisions hai then you will use sub uh, subdivided but you can use variety of category let's say idhar they have used import and export suppose i want to add few more i want to add import export uh let's say textiles again i want to add automobile i want to add uh, let's say gems and jewelry i want to add medicine so agar hum itne sare categories pe compare kare not subdivision of the categories but actual categories pe kare so that will be known as a multiple bar chart okay so either they have given only two but you can have many many uh, other um, categories also and then last may we come to that is known as a pi diagram so pi diagram is basically a 360 uh, degree representation of whatever uh, you want to uh, compare uh, uh, in a sort of a circular way with 360 degree way may they do it and they uh, find out a sector or they find out uh, they find they find out a sector and the percentage that is used so let's say here we have how much water do we use so uh, this is a, the sources from american water works association so wo bolte hain ki let's say for showering you you use 16.8% for faucet you use 15.7 for washing clothes or for clothes washer 21.7 for leaks for toilet for everything they have given and for other they have given 5.3 so this is a very very simple way of knowing uh, how much uh, you know uh, what exactly you want like koi bhi aap koi bhi sector ka aap dekhna chaho it's very very easy to agar aap apne let's say pure din ka bhi ye banao i think even some apps also have this right now uh, they have this app um, sorry i'm not able to recollect the name lekin wo aapko agar installed hai तो वो आपको पूरे दिन में बता देंगे कि व्हाट वाज योर फोन्स यूसेज थ्रू आउट द डे सो सपोज सोशल मीडिया दिल शो यू सोशल मीडिया वाज 35 परसेंट एंड लेट्स से यू डिड एनी यू नो यू ओपन अप एनी एक्सेल शीट और वर्क फाइल और समथिंग तो इट वाज दिस मच तो इस तरह से दे विल टेल यू इफ यू यू डायल्ड और यू टॉक ऑन कॉल फॉर लेट्स से योर एंटायर डे में your uh, you talked on call for 2 2 hours and 5 minutes it was not one call let's say aapke jitne bhi calls hain or maybe you messaged that much or maybe you used some other tools and you know things like calculator or jo bhi jo bhi hai to they will tell you that what is the usage of your phone kabhi kabhi kuch kuch phones mein you have these themes jo ki aapko bata dete hain ki kis 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 category mein aapke you know data stored hai photos mein kitna hai videos mein kitna hai you know gifs mein kitna hai etc so that is what is pi diagram okay 360 uh, degrees mein like in a circle it will break down into sectors and percentage wise it will tell you theek hai so with this friends we finish um, our the first uh, Oh, sorry, one minute. Yes, finish descriptive statistics and the um, summarization and the organization. Sorry, the organization of data we finished. And now next we will go to um, summarization of data. So we'll do at least the first one that we had done yesterday uh, elaborately. We'll just uh, you know just uh, give it a quick uh, glance. So measures of central tendency, as I had told you. Uh, we are basically interested in finding out the midpoint or the mid value of any data set that we have so we use three measures that is mean median and mode so mean is uh, it will it gives us a uh, you know mid value but it is a very it is very assumptive in nature if we are having a very high or very extreme numbers this uh, will actually misguide us the mean will actually misguide us 
Okay, whereas compared to uh, mean, if we go for median, even it has very extreme values and it has outliers, uh, still it is much more stable than the mean. And more, more does not help us in, uh, in any mathematical calculation as such. But yes, more actually helps us, helps us to know uh, what exactly would be uh, the almost the mid value. Okay, so somewhere it will tell us that yes, it is occurring. Um, these numbers are occurring very frequently. So the mid value will be in and around these numbers. Okay, and range we already did. Okay, so and this was the measures of central tendency. We had done that in detail. I don't think I need to again tell you everything. Yes, they have just uh, uh, given one thing that um, uh, what are the characteristics of or good measures of central tendency. So here they have given uh, one uh, line which was very much important. They have written that the measures of central tendency should be based on all observations. So sometimes what happens, uh, may, uh, you know, you uh, don't take any observation into account. You think that the observation thoda sa alag type aara hai baki sab se. So they're saying no, if you are doing this, this is not a good measure of central tendency. You need to have uh, all the observations in it and then you have to take all the observations into account. Okay. So this is what was there, the deviations we had also talked. So okay, next we'll, we'll uh, do the remaining uh, portions tomorrow and I'll also tell you how to calculate the less than and the more than. Okay, okay. so okay, friends, with this we'll ah. end here. Huh. Ma'am, I have a question. This is my first class uh, as in I'm attending the class for the first time. Uh, Sorry, can I ask you one question? Ma'am, uh, we have arranged the data in uh -huh. uh, frequency distribution. Sometimes in ascending order and sometimes in descending order. Does it matter? No, it does not matter. Okay. If you are doing if you are doing double calculation, it matters. Otherwise, it will not matter. So what is the double calculation, ma'am? The double calculation is suppose you have uh, taken a uh, class interval as let's say uh, 11 to 20 or let's say 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Up 20, ko you either in you have to include in one class interval, not in two. OK, either so in that case, do we have to arrange the data in the ascending order or descending order? No, no, it is not about ascending, descending. That's what I'm saying. Matlab, let's say uh, up, you, you are getting a you are getting a number. If you are getting any number between 10 to 19, then there is no last wale interval mein aega, 10 to 20. Mein. But if you 20, aaya, to wo aega? 10 to 20, mein bhi aa sakta hai, 20 to 30, mein bhi aa sakta hai, right? Right. So, but you have to take Don't do double counting. Matlab, if you have, if 20 occurs five times, take it in the lower lower class interval. Usi mein hi, uh, karna hai. You cannot take three here and two there. Getting it? Okay, ma'am. So, uh, we should stick to one room. So we, we decide that we will actually uniform for throughout the distribution. Oh, okay, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Oh, thank you. So, thank take you. care, friends. We'll meet uh, tomorrow. tomorrow.